Hello, welcome back. It's a glorious October morning in 2021. Hardly a cloud in the sky. Uh, we're heading for Nairsborough Caravan and Motor Home Club site. Uh, it's uh, approximately two miles from Nairsborough town. And uh, Nairsborough is situated within the borough of Harrogate. Uh, we booked this back in March and we're on a fully serviced pitch and I'm looking forward to this October break. Please move off to the left in one mile. We're leaving the A1 now onto the um, A59. roundabout at that second exit and continue to follow A59 towards Harrogate. Please follow the road for two miles. This is Nairsborough town centre, I suppose. We're on uh, High Street. Shipton's Cave that way. That's this one here. Please turn right in 200 yards to your destination, New Road. This is it. Now turn right. We're all pitched up. We've got a good corner plot, number 71. There are a total of 79 pitches here. 12 of them are fully serviced, these. And we're on this one here. And when I've finished my cup of tea, I'll show you my setup. I think this corner pitch is, you know, a really good position. And I'll show you the uh, caravan setup. Uh, there's a cloud field behind us. Use the 10 meter electric hook up cable. There's the water hook up at grey waste. There's no TV hook up point. Um, I've had to raise the caravan aerial to get a better signal. Uh, mobile phone signal is okay. You know, we're using personal hotspot for internet access, uh, but the signal does get a bit weak at times. And we're paying £33.28 a night, and that's in October. And it's a 16 amp hook up. This is the area of the 12 fully serviced pitchers. You can see the service point behind me with the recycling bins and chemical toilet disposal point. 
I'd have preferred not to have seen the four pitches in the middle here. I'd have preferred to see grass to give us a bit more space between us. Well, that's typical caravan club layout. The dog walk is down there, uh, which is a nice open area. Look at that. Looks like we're going to be in for a good day tomorrow, judging by that sunset. It's day one, we're off out walking and uh, we'll do a quick overview of the site. So from the facility block, you come up here into the fully serviced pitch area. And over there is the children's uh, play area. That's the entrance to the dog walk area. And this is basically it, several rows of standard pictures and that's reception block down there. This is a view looking up the site and there's a service point here. Around the corner from reception is the Wanderer Bar and Kitchen. There's reception and that's the exit. This is the field behind our caravan. This is a couple of minutes walk from site down into the Nid Gorge. The caravan site is here and we're here at the car park. <laughs> and on the other side of the board is a larger scale map. There's the caravan site. Nice. We like walking through woods. So we've headed for Gates Hill Camp, um, Hill Fort. And it says traces of the original defensive ditch are still visible and it's stone cord ramparts. So let's see if we can find something. We didn't find much up there apart from the ditch. So we've dropped down into the river into the gorge and we're going to tap the river path but there's a bench over there so we'll get the flask out got some biscuits to change from tea cakes private fishing here I hope the herons had permission. Bridge over the river Nid. Nid. We've had a good day today, walking through the woods along the river and we're heading off back to the caravan. I'll see you tomorrow. Morning, we're off to Nid Viaduct where the famous scene was filmed for Paddington 2 where the train carriage goes off into the river and Knuckles from the prison rescues Paddington. Um, we've got to walk back through Nid Gorge to get there and we'll see you there. And here we are, Nid Viaduct. 
This is the River Ned. This is the other side. Here's the famous fired up that you can see towards the end of Paddington 2 film. <laughs> These are Flyer Garrick by the River Nid. There's a bus stop opposite the site entrance behind me and the other one's here to Nairsborough. We've spent a couple of days walking the various footpaths in Nid Gorge. Here's the caravan site. A uh, quick way down there is to go to the end of New Road, onto Ripley Road, cross over and walk down this short road here where these houses are and then there's a linking footpath what takes you down into the gorge and there's the main river bridge. Uh, one of the paths we took was along the river here and if you wanted to get to the top of the Nid viaduct, bare left onto this path but if you want to go under the viaduct, stay on the river path. Uh, this is one of the paths we took around here, onto, back onto the railway, down to this road, down past this pub and onto this bridleway, which is a cycle track. And then we took this turn in here and returned to the caravan. But alternatively, you can walk down Ripley Road to the car park and that's the main route down into the gorge. We've got a squirrel outside the caravan. And we've seen a pheasant. Because uh, he's, he's digging up his nuts, I think. <laughs> We're here in Nairsborough town today and it's taken us 35 minutes to get to this point from the caravan. This is uh, the market on a Wednesday in Nesborough Town. We've been around the shops here, the market, and now we're going to have a look around the castle and then walk down to the river and from here we'll be able to see the viaduct. We're going to have a look around the ruin. Steps here, look, down to the tunnel. Courthouse Museum's over there.
we've just come down from the castle and we're going to the chapel of Our Lady in the Crag. Well, it's only open on a Sunday. There's a bit of interesting information here on town gas lighting. Our walk into Nesborough took us straight down the main road to this mini roundabout, turn left and then turn right at the second mini roundabout and this is High Street. Here are the castle ruins. This is Mother Shipton's cave petrifying well. And it actually took us 40 minutes to get to the High Street, not 35 minutes as I mentioned earlier. Last day today, we're going to have an easier day. We're going to drive into Harrogate. I'll show you the map. It's showing it's 5.5 mile, taking uh, the main route down into ha uh, Knaresborough and then up into Harrogate, to the centre of Harrogate. Love the Shipton's Cave here. There's the entrance. Here's a map of the centre of Harrogate. We're here and we're heading for Valley Gardens. So we're on Montpellier Hill and we know this gentleman's daughter. So here's your father's tree, Rosemary. Quick spin round from the Crown. Very autumnal here. This is the Pump Room Museum, it's £3.50 entry and Valley Gardens are behind me. Bit of interesting information here. This is sulphur water, you can actually smell it. You can really smell sulphur. It stinks. Oh. Entrance to Valley Gardens. There are lots of mineral wells in Valley Gardens, including the one behind me. In fact, there are 36 mineral wells in Valley Gardens. Flowers are beautiful. In fact, there are 89 recognised mineral wells within the borough of Harrogate. This is the Magnesia Well Pump Room of 1858. Lots of information here on Valley Gardens. Japanese garden. There's a good map here of Valley Gardens. 
We're heading for the New Zealand Gardens. And there's the New Zealand Gardens. There's a face there, Fox's face. Oh yeah. Looks like giant rhubarb. Gonna have the last hour around the shops over there, so I'll see you later. Our drive into Harrogate took us straight down into Knaresborough and then on the A59 straight through to Harrogate to this roundabout and then up towards the town centre and here are Valley Gardens. Well that's it, I know I always say it, we've had another good week. Have you had a good week? I have. <laughs> good. And that's Knaresborough Caravan and Motorhome Club site, Scotton. Nesborough. See you on the next video. Visible and it's stone cord ramparts. So let's see if we can supply it. <laughs> Here we go again. These are Flyer Garrick by the River Nerd. Nid. 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 <laughs>